What the hell are you doing in there? Get out. Come on. Hi there, my name is Neil. Welcome to the channel. If you are looking for all types of van life related content, then you have parked yourself in the right place. So don't forget, subscribe, turn on the post notification bells so you don't miss any of my latest videos. Power is the thing that makes these lights work. It's the thing that makes these lights work. But if you've got a self-made camper, how do you go about auxiliary power? How do you go about extra power? How do you go about more power? You need more power. We all need more power. Your van has a 12 volt battery. You can't use that because the minute you put lights on, start charging and stuff, battery goes flat, you're dead in the water, you call on the recovery service and you just look a bit of a dick. Leisure batteries, everybody buys a leisure battery. Everyone gets a leisure battery. There's big leisure batteries, there's small leisure batteries, there's big amp leisure batteries, there's small amp leisure batteries. The list goes on for leisure batteries. But how do you charge them? Dead simple, dead easy. For a small van like a T4, a T5, T25, you know, something like that. The actual system that I've got in place, which is a Durite 12 volt split charger system. Okay, yeah, somebody wants to call it something different. Somebody out there will call it a 12 volt sensitivity relay. I don't know why it's so sensitive all of a sudden, because I didn't upset it. Anyway, right, split chargers. They're so simple to fit, it's unbelievable. Like I said, the system I have in the van is the Durite 12 volt split charger. You can get the Durite 12 volt 140 amp split charger in the link I'll leave in the description below with everything you will need to do the job. You'll get the charger, you'll get the big thick mains red cable. It's about three to five meters long. You'll also get a black earth cable, which is about a meter long. You'll get all the connections, you'll get all the plugs, you'll get all the stuff that you need to tidy the whole job away. You'll get the trunk in it, you need to wrap around it. You get the posts to put onto your battery, you get the ends to solder onto it. It's literally the complete kit. It's everything you need to put the Durite triple charger into your van to connect up to your leisure battery. Now, leisure batteries, they're good. Like, they're really good. They last for a long time. They hold a lot of charge. How does this magic wizardry piece of equipment work? We need to draw. Let's go draw. It's gonna be beanie. Right, okay, so you have a van. Okay, your van has a battery. Okay, the van also has an alternator. When the van is turning around, it puts power from the alternator into the battery. Now, that can be up to about 14.4, 14.5 volts. Okay, so in the back of your van, you have a leisure battery. Now, your alternator puts power into the battery. You have a cable that runs from your battery to your leisure battery. Once your alternator is actually putting M12.6 over into this battery, then your Duratech, which sits there, that notices 12.6 volts. Okay, so you have your 12.6 volts going through this cable into the Duratech. Until it gets to 12.6 volts, it doesn't come to this part. Once it gets to 12.6 volts, it then allows the flow of current to go through the Duratech into your leisure battery. So, both batteries are being charged off your alternator. Now, once your engine turns off, the Duratech cuts off the return flow back to the battery, and either way. So, these two cables here, and here, basically, there's nothing connecting the two of them. So, your leisure battery can't pull power off your van battery. Your van battery stays in charge, so your van can go forward. Brum, brum. Now, could that drone have been any better? I mean, that's a friggin' piece of art right there. 
Beanie Draws would be proud of me. So my battery, I have my split charger just there. That's the actual cable for the split charger. Onto the post, it goes right the way through the van, into the van, under the floor, and it ends up in that cupboard there. It's behind, it's out the way, it's fastened to the edge, and it's all safe and secure. Now, the good thing I like about Duorite is the price. Another thing I like about it is that I have had the Duorite split charger pack in my van for four years. It's never stopped working. It's always done exactly what it's meant to do. It just works perfectly and it's 80 pounds. Personally, I think it's one of the best ones on the market purely because it's never let me down, it's worked perfect and a lot of people use them. So, you're right, link in the description, go get yourself one. If you're using cheap Chinese imports, just buy a proper split charger. It's got power going through it. It's constantly connected to two batteries. You need to be safe. You need to stay safe. You need to do jobs on vans that are not necessarily the cheapest, but the safest. Yeah, we can cut corners, but ultimately you're messing with two batteries. So be safe, stay safe. So today's video, yeah, it's a short video, but it's an important video. If you're gonna be messing around with batteries and what batteries in the back of your van to charge stuff to run things like plugs and things like lights that you can do fancy things with oh looks like i've been to chernobyl anyway if someone comes knocking on this van looking for a lady of the night they're going to get a shock if you've enjoyed the video leave us some comments on the comment section below if you've got any questions about triple charges battery charging systems just let me know and i will do my best to answer them for you in the best way i can but i will answer them also leave us a big thumbs up i mean show me some love I mean, have you seen this face i'm limited on love like literally limited on love anyway subscribe the button's there it's like, it's like there all is better in the world if you subscribe thank you also i'd just like to say one more thing as well paul peck he does drywall it's actually quite interesting go and watch him i'm not leaving you a link you're gonna have to search for him yourself but you know as paul says just search for drywall in google and my name will come up i don't know why i've all of a sudden gone into my voiceover voice but okay see you in the next video bye bye Ooh,